Okay, so we have two very discrete programs in February disease. The first is our monotherapy program for Megalostat that is in the midst of two phase three studies. We've had some preliminary data in the first of those phase three studies, what we call study 011, a monotherapy study. Much more data to come by the end of this year and throughout 2014. We also have a second phase three monotherapy study, or study 012, which is a switch study. We're taking people off of enzyme replacement therapy, people who were stable on either Febrazyme or Replegal, and we're, we have moved them onto Megalostat as their only treatment for February disease. That study reads out in the second half of 2014. Both of those programs partnered with GSK. Our second February disease program is actually building on that chaperone experience, where we have now developed, again in partnership with GSK Rare Diseases, our own proprietary next generation enzyme replacement therapy product. So our own ERT that is different in a number of different ways, particularly that it includes in the formulation our chaperone to keep it stable, more active, we believe more potent, and we also hope less immunogenic. We also think that this might allow us to deliver the medicine through novel routes of administration, potentially even at some point subcutaneously. So that program has advanced significantly. It is poised to enter the clinic in the first half of 2014. It, it's it's, it, it's a, ma a major step for Amicus and for GSK together in that it's going to be a novel for new treatment in Febre disease for the other half of patients who can't take our medicine as a monotherapy for people who still need to take enzyme replacement therapy. But it's even more significant for Amicus because it will be the first time that an enzyme replacement therapy incorporating the chart platform technology enters into the clinic. So we're using the chaperone in two different ways. We're using a chaperone, again, as a monotherapy, a pill, medicine to be taken instead of enzyme replacement therapy in Febre disease. It turns out that in Febre disease, you have a significant enough portion of the population, anywhere from a third to a half or so, we believe, that would make them amenable to take this pill medicine as their only treatment for Febre disease to eliminate the need for enzyme replacement therapy. For the other people with Febre, and we believe for everybody living with Pompeii and other lysosomal storage disorders, they still need to take an enzyme replacement therapy. The chaperone monotherapy isn't appropriate for them. And there what we've done is to engineer and create a novel new next generation enzyme replacement therapy, the core of which is the inclusion of a small molecule in the enzyme formulation, in the prep, to keep it active, folded, and stable, increase tissue uptake, and we believe reduce the immune profile. And that really is one of the major complexities of the current treatments available today. They elicit a significant immune response. In Pompeii, for instance, we know 100% of patients who have been exposed to myozyme or lumozyme have developed antibodies. We're trying to figure ways to reduce or potentially even eliminate that immune response. If you do that, we think you will have a much better therapeutic outcome and enzyme therapies that could also be much better tolerated by patients.